Hey friends, welcome back to my art studio. I hope you're having a really good day today. I found this cute photo of poppies and daisies on Unsplash. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm going to paint a little five by seven. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's set the table. I have a five inch by seven inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. Inch and a half thick. It looks like I have an ocean right now, which is totally fine. Um, I wanted a greener blue because I think it'll make the red pop because red and green are compliments. So I'm, I'm doing that. I have, well, let's just start here, titanium white. These are all going to be Liquitex. I have Thalo Blue Green Shade. Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Got a new jar. Or, yeah, jar. I'm going to use Quinacridone Magenta. And I, I'm, I'll put out some Mars Black. I could, the blue is really dark. I don't know if I'll need the Mars Black. but So I'm using... One of my, I call them my primaries in quotes. My blue will change a little bit, but it just makes it really easy to unify your painting. Um, and I think you have less to think about. Instead of putting out 12 colors, you've got three, red, yellow, and blue. What else? I dried it with a hair dryer. Oh, I forgot to mention. Yesterday, I uh, put a coat of clear gesso on the wood panel so it doesn't soak up the paint quite so much. Let that dry, dry it with a hair dryer, let it sit for about 20 minutes and then put another coat on. Um, you'll know, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll know with the weather in your area how it, how it feels and how it's acting, how long it needs to dry for you. Okay, oh, forgot the brush, guys, I forgot the brush. I'm using, I just washed it. Oh, I didn't get the paint off the handle. I'm using a one inch filbert brush from Royal and Langnickel, it's their Zen line. And that's the sweeping sky. I can link that video in this description. Or you could call it an ocean, because that's what it looks like too. Oh, and I think I might put some clouds in this one. I really like this reference photo. I think we're gonna follow it pretty closely. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, friends, a couple of comments. I use, I am using a number 12 Filbert from Royal and Langnickel. I don't know how many lines they have, but I realized, where's the other one? Oh, I washed it. So it's, oh, here it is. So I've got their Zen line that I use for the background. I've got this one. What does it say? Oh, it's their Menta line. And then sometimes I haven't used this one yet, but I don't, the writing is worn off of it, but this is a Royal and Lang nickel too. <laughs> I don't know how many lines they have. Oh, if you um, are curious about the art supplies I use, I have links in this video's description. You know, it has a few of the art supplies I use. Okay, so I like this because it's smaller. I took some matte medium and put it out on my palette. You could use extender, you could use glass medium, you could use water, anything to kind of thin it out and make it more transparent. So I use matte medium and some white. Oh, and actually a little bit of my sky color 
and pushed in some clouds and I like it because I don't want to push too hard. This dry, it's dry to the touch, but it's probably not cured. So I can kind of scribble and put in clouds. I'll link um, how to paint these kind of clouds. I have a video on YouTube. I'll link that in this video's description. Dry it and then come back with some, you know, straight up white and water. And you just kind of push it up and you'll even get a darker edge. So I've already kind of got a little bit of a cloud shape with that arch. So I like that. Right now my clouds are bugging me because they're so strong, <laughs> but that happens a lot. Things worry me until I start to get more items, elements on the painting and see how they're working together. I took a General's charcoal pencil and I know it's hard to see, but I was thinking a poppy there, a smaller poppy here. I've got a bud here, a bigger poppy here one there. I'll probably put in another one. And then I changed my mind about three times. Originally I was going to put my grass up here and I'm kind of wondering maybe if I want to put the grass up higher because I'm going to have some daisies. But maybe I'll keep my daisies smaller. I might pull my grass up a little bit. And then for the grass I mixed some brown, some black, some blue, some magenta and some yellow and just made a really dark muddy green which I like and then added some white to it for value change put a little straight up phthalo blue in this corner some yellow to make a greener not you know sometimes I put quite a bit of color in my grass I'm going to keep this more simple you can I, I always overthink stuff overthink my paintings like does my grass need to be higher I got a piece of dried There it is. I had a piece of dry paint. I have fans going and it's summer, so when it's warmer, um, it's actually pretty, it's not very humid today. Things dry out. Chris, I got a poppy there, so I don't know if I really want to bring them up. I'm kind of crisscrossing. I left a V here. Yeah, see now that I, I wanted, thought I wanted taller grasses, but I'm really not doing it. I don't know. We can always change it again. All right, I'm not doing much to it. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. So what am I going to do next? I might put in a couple of the big poppies so I can see. I'm going to grab this color a little bit. And I don't know if that's just a, an oops. I'll probably use a flat brush. You, I, well, you know what I should do? Maybe I should just do the whole painting in this brush. That might be kind of interesting. Because I have, I buy brushes and I buy paint and I end up using the same ones all the time. I don't, do you guys do that? Put it in the comments. Do you use the same, buy a bunch of art supplies but then use the same favorites over and over again? You can just put favorites in the comments and I'll have to figure out what I said in this video because I'm about three weeks ahead, ahead of, I video about three weeks ahead of posting. Okay. So what I might do, I need to think. I'll be back in a bit, guys.
I've been playing with um, transparent la layers glazing because my quinacridone is semi-transparent. The box is half full or half open. Same with the yellow. Here, maybe it says better on it. I've got the, a jar going here. Oh, it does say on the front. Right there. Um, and so it makes pretty oranges, red oranges, red. So that's been fun. And if I think I went too far, I put a little white on there and then just put yellow. I might go, hmm, do I like the yellow? Put some orange and then change my mind. Um, that is actually dark green, but it looks black. So that's fun. That's what I'm doing. So you saw me put like a an orange and white down just to cover up the clouds in the background and give me something to build on. The daisies pop out, but I, you know, they're white. They're really strong, which is one, why I'm kind of wondering if I want to maybe put white back in there. When I look at the reference photo, there is white. Maybe do that. Or maybe just go more contrast. What else? Oh, I was going to try and use just this one brush, but it was too big for the daisies. So then I got out a quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. That was a little easier for me to do the petals. Now I'm going to put, oh, here, I want to do this too. So I have a light right here. Let's see what that does. The white keeps popping more, which makes sense. Oh, no pun intended since I'm painting poppies. <laughs> oh, I keep going brighter and brighter. Sometimes I turn it down because I get glare. You guys, if you have time and you don't mind, let me know in the comments if you like it brighter. I think that's all the way up. Oh, there's like 10 steps or nine. So that's the lowest. I'm gonna go up a couple. Okay, enough playing with the light, Annie. <laughs> I can hear you guys. Next steps, I'm gonna play with greens. I've got a seed pod. I don't know if you can see it because I've kind of wiped it off. Or not a seed pod, but like a bud. And I'm gonna put in some other things and see what I think. You can use white if you don't want to use yellow to bring up the highlights, you know. Play with it and see what you guys like. I did paint on the sides. Um, it's not done, but just a little hint. Hint of a poppies. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in that I was building up with layers. Um, I like it. It's pushing the clouds back. I'm going to work on the greens before I work on these main poppies anymore. Oh, and I built, built these up a little more too with a little bit more layers. Okay, I think that covers it. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm calling it done. This is fun. I um, I really like the red, I think that works. I, I like all the green because green and red are compliments. I got out a color that I really didn't need or use. Vivid Lime Green. Here I'll point out. So that's straight up Vivid Lime Green. I really don't have any on the front. There's some Oh, you might like it. Um, I, I really just like, oh, I don't need it. There's some there. Another thing I did before I forget is I put, it's a little dark now, but I put my signature on in Thalo Blue Green Shade and White, 
and it stood out too much. So then I took some yellow and just glazed over it. I need to, I think it's standing out enough. I don't want, it's not even my signature, it's my initials. I don't want it to stand out too much, but I want it to be able to photograph it. I sign the back. Since I paint a lot of little ornaments and things, I use my, so it's A, the crossbar makes the T, and the T can either be right here, or it can be with favorite dot, or favorite son, one dot for favorite son, one dot for favorite daughter. Here you can see a little better on this one. But I sign the back. Okay. And I don't sign with the same signature that I would like sign the mortgage papers with. Okay, what else? I think it's fun. Oh, so sometimes I have like light um, buds in the background. You pretty much lose the stem. And then sometimes I have a dark one. Um, put some yellow in there. I thought that was kind of nice. Because these are really strong, but that's okay. The red's really strong. You know, um, I had some light tips only, and then I put in a dark tip for the, the grass. There's a light one. Just kind of playing with the values. I think that's about it. Oh, this is a number six round from Princeton that I was using for the stems. I always say I'm not gonna connect all my flowers with stems, but when I do it like this, I like them to have a stem. These, like this one doesn't have a stem. That one could, there's a mark there. I think that's about it. I'm gonna do a screenshot. Let me know if you like the aqua sky. I think that's fun. The clouds, I like the clouds. I tend to not put clouds in my painting. I'm not crazy about them, but I probably like it, you know, tomorrow, the next day when I'm not on top of it. These definitely stand out, they're big targets. Oh, and this is like a fried egg, which is a center. Got a little bit of a lip. That helps you think of them. Or like three brush strokes, and then I added a little. Let's see, do a little tour. See if my phone will focus. Yeah, so my clouds don't look that great up close. I think when you get back when you get back from them, I think they look pretty good. I need to take that's something I needed to do is take a photo of this. See what I think of it. I appreciate your help letting me know like about the light in the comments and you guys are fun. It's really fun to hang out with you. I like just the three daisies and they're quite strong. Let's see, I think I already showed you. Just a few strokes on the back. Okay, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tagging along with me. It's so much fun for me. I super appreciate your support. I couldn't do this without all of you guys. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.